I have to admit I'm going to be confused because everyone here has like different names at what they usually do. We have mm. a Blink first pick already coming out on Legion, which yep. is good, uh, good solid. pick. I like it. Yep, you can do pretty much anything with that. Legion is a nice model. The CK crit. Okay, There's so they're running like... CK as core. Yeah, CK hard carry. I would expect the DK to be the frontliner and maybe Chen or Pugna mid. Yeah, I think they they want to run Chen as the second card. You know, that's like so good. The webs coming out on Lesh. So Lesh is going to have the easiest lane of his life. He's going to have three mana from his right clicks and three pathing and a million move speed. That's very strong. Mm -hmm. He's going to start with 360 without the boots with the webs level one. That's quite nice. Ah, it's actually DK support with the dragon tail. Yeah, that's all right. Tail. Click. Pretty simple. Um, now, I'm, now I'm a little bit worried though about the dire because uh, I don't think they have a good frontliner model and this uh, radiant lineup. They have ups. They have a blink. They want to go in. I am not really a believer in this shredder pick here, unless they don't want to pick Chen as a core. But... I think it's still a core, right? It's better than it used to be because now it, is. it has it does still get the one quarter bit. of the damage. Yeah. I mean, he, he, I guess he expects to get a good ult in Flesh or Dragon or something, either way. Or maybe he just gets like mana break, right? And the gets... out of into the lane. And that might actually be really damage. nice, yeah. That's like the one thing you can do that, that really makes it more than just... Yeah, so yeah he goes there we go. That. Yeah. It's a lane dominator build. Probably run on the offlane, uh, I would expect. Um, Dragon Farm goes on unpicked still, so... As you can tell, it's not as popular as it used to be. I still think it could be quite nice. I would more. actually like it, for example, on the CK. Uh, yeah. It gives you some range. I think it's, it is going to happen, unless he wants to go for Duhu or something instead. I mean, um, not Phantasm, you cannot go wrong, right? Honestly, they I don't think anyone else is going for Dragon. They could even leave it for Chen on the way back and give him the extra range. If he want to go for Duhu or something else, True. Or whatever. Still pretty solid. Um, I like the amount of control coming from the dire support. So. Yes, very I just strong want to spells. Mention they have some great setup. Like, you don't want to lane into this DK. It's gonna be very painful. So it looks like the legion's gonna be the core, and the snapfire is support. Yeah. I... Yeah, that I, I guess that confirms it. With with free blink, you will end. You get the overwhelming odds for the facet legion. is actually pretty strong, and it's almost a shame not to do it. Yeah, but without passive, I'm not sure if it's even that strong. Like, you'd need passive uh, to, to work for the will. Uh, not necessarily. I think Blamer can do a lot of the work if they deal up. Didn't you get the, uh, the passive by default on the Legion Commander? No, no, he, he, uh, the one who picks no. it. So Chaos Knight will get it by so default. So if, it's, if okay. it's in the pool, you don't start with it. If it's not in the pool, then you do start with it. Um, it's kind of weird. Like, I, I'm not sure it's quite consistent, but even if you pick mm -hmm. it, you will start with like a level 0 out of 5. So. It would be very weak at level one, but be I mean, I believe it's still pretty good, right? You get forty percent right life steal there, and the yeah. reset on the attack. There are also some skills that if you pick it, you start with level zero, even though you don't have the innate. It's just kind of a little bit funky like that. I'm not sure I like uh, even this penitence on the chant. It makes perfect sense, but now the hero is very one-dimensional, no defensive I mean, capabilities. I would have preferred to see like counter spell on the or the illusionary orb, but the book um, secures so it. Counter spell is not so good unless you're AM, because you don't. Ah, true. It no longer reflects the spells. It's basically just magic resistance. But uh, don't you still at least block the spells? Yeah, you block them. Oh yes, you do block okay. the spells. Because there are some spells that are very easy to block, like for example the Chaos Bolt or the Poison Touch. Like, I want to say people, so people just overlook it because it's like half the skill it used to be, and I think that's okay. Ooh, that's a surprising pick. I expected. Phantasm or the dragon form on the Chen. Yeah, definitely not the Juju. Dragon form is going to CK. Uh, on, I mean, as, unless. Okay, dragon form is going to DK. Um, Ooh. I guess he, you get the dra dragon tail for ranged, but. You do get a hmm. dragon tail, but you're not going to have any of the good stuff from the Worm's Wrath. That... Yeah, only gives you move speed and damage, right? <laughs> not exactly what's particularly interesting in the support. I mean, the rest of the alls also not like super good support. Yeah, but yes, right, it created field. this situation where the CK could be countered, yeah, right? This, they pick Phantasm and he has no ult left. I don't. I, they were not expecting a counter pick on AM, but honestly, with the pool at hand, it 
uh, might have been a good choice. Mm. I, I think overall quite a few mistakes in the draft. Like on the Chen in particular, the ultimates, you could have picked either the Mana Void. I mean, you already have the Mana Break with Shredder. You could have picked the Phantasm, obviously. Your Illus also get a Mana Break. Very annoying to deal with. You could essentially you could have be more greedy. Form. And, and additionally, if you pick Dragon Form, you get a Juju to DK, and he has Juju Spit Earth and Dragon Tail, which is like very annoying to play against. I guess they didn't want to have the Juju on the AM, but then you can chain the Chaos Bolts. But he still wouldn't have gotten that if they just swapped those two spells. True. Yeah, on DK, they actually would have been perfect with yeah. the Dragon Tail Split Earth. Yeah. I, I was really expecting the Juju to come out on DK after. Yeah, yeah. really weird draft overall. Yeah, I would say that like, if DK wants to go for Dragon Forms, then you just take the takes of Rooms for us, because you as DK, you can select the face it. Yeah. I mean, it's still perfectly playable, but uh, it's a little bit. Unsure. Now uh, we'll climb up on top, I guess. To see. Yeah. Some friendly change of tips. Really should prepare for yeah. battle. Um, I think the enemy <laughs> was a little bit in agreement about that dragon form pick. Hmm. Could be, but it wasn't random, right? It was not a random. Mm -hmm. Who first picks webs in current patch? Okay, let me just tell you this. Oh wait, I well, I do. We, we have a first plot going on, I I believe. Maybe nice cookie overwall. Nice. Probably still not another. Webs still great. Oh, deny. <laughs> this is some fight, like right next to the dire tier one. Off. Very manly plays by the CK. Leveling that DK, having that free level on moment courage just runs in. Oh, yeah, so that's one of the. I mean, oh, it's so good. When you start this, it actually does something. Is this on? Values are pretty low. But... Mm. You even get the first blood gold since they got the deny. Oh, that's true. Uh, but the denies do have award um, experience now, at least, right? So. So it's a double win for the dire triple win now with the another pickup on the legion. Yeah, they rangers just need to not fight anymore. <laughs> this, this is over. Okay. I'm curious if uh, insatiable does like vampirism counts as healing because Dazzle has his face it that over healing is converted into the barrier. Um. Yeah, I mean, you would see it already if that... Oh, no, he, will... he never reached full health, right? So yeah, he never reached full health yet. Well, let's see. If it works, that would be quite a nice combination. I mean, you can pop it during the fights to build up some barrier. There are some... Okay, I, I'm not sure, quite sure since it is, it is lifesteal. We know that much. I don't know. I think it's usually set on the skill if it counts as regen or vice versa. Um, yeah, but it says healing, right? It doesn't even say regen on the. That's true. Yeah, passive I, I, I'm really curious actually, because this is this is one passive that is very abusable if you get the right uh, skills. Oh, like, by for the example, way, DK yeah. still gets the face hit. Like he's had face hit, so his dragon form still have corrosive breath. Uh, Since it's not dependent on the passive, it's dependent on his uh, face hit. So okay. it's not purely okay. useless. That is uh, but, very good. Yeah, the. Uh, but I believe it doesn't really do anything, right? Because it, the dragon form only amps the effect of the corrosive. Uh, That's true, yeah, effect, yeah, yeah. And he doesn't have it because he has to the passive. Base mm, value yeah, is, is yeah, not okay. present. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I, he may have thought it worked, though. Uh, I, they, they, it's really strong, dude, the green one, apparently. Like, really, really strong. The bottom lane, though, it's going very well for the Radiant. Perhaps not surprising. Puck is yeah. a oh, paper thin was... model. CK had to go into lane with like 20% HP. And that... Yeah, it's, it's just like a ranged brood, like great stats on the vessel sitting there. It's got the slow bites back in the pool. The also, healing. players that have played the Dota for at least like five or six years maybe remember how annoying is to lane against the bite passive. Yes. <laughs> made return as a melee hero. Miss chance, low. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty stoked to see it back. I think there's a lot of passive that have been has become very good that were maybe not. Well, they were still good. Before. 
Right also interesting, is that attack bonus on the bite increased to base damage? Because I don't see any bonus damage on the dazzle. Um, I'm not really sure if it should. If it should... Oh, it's actually bonus to any target that hits the someone affected. Yeah, so damage, right? it's from oh, okay. the debuff. So yeah, yeah, it, it amps the uh, spider damage, exactly, damage yeah. for the That's... brute nowadays. Yeah. I think that was on Silver Bowler at some point, right? Oh, that would be a cute ability actually on something like Shredder. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. A little bit extra damage. A bunch of hits, it's good. Okay, we have. A so we have a pause. Okay. Maybe opportunity to go over the lanes and how everybody's doing. So Pugna yeah. is handily winning mid. Perhaps not surprising with two nukes against uh, the Vep's Edict. A much easier way to nuke out the lanes or even chunk chunk down the lash. He should be keeping his lash in tower to to some degree. Like his lash just cannot really answer that and wipe the waves as fast enough. If the Pokemon ever leaves his lane, the tower is gonna fall like a second. Why would he mm -hmm. right now? Okay, so, then let me maybe... mention. Yeah. Yeah. Also, See? while we have a pause, I have uh, like popped in like the team fight before the like oh, yeah, our rune fight. Which was like, quite nice to see. Action like, replay. Yeah, a lovely call by the DK, like seeing four people touching oh. each other, like, leveling the DK mm. immediately and running in like a man. Yes. Yeah, that was definitely a good choice of what to do in the pre-fight stage. Okay, back mm. to the game. The game continues. In the top lane, it seems um, much more even compared to the other lanes. Yeah. But yeah, Dire winning mint, Radiant winning the bot lane, and top even so far. Who would you say is a favorite uh, if the laning phases come out rather equally in this game? Because I'm looking at the Dire and I don't see anything that scales really hard, since the Chen is relying on the Shredder, which doesn't really increase heavily the damage. Yeah, the CK. I... Yeah. Honestly, this Chen could easily have been like a 4, just sitting in the back and burning people's mana, but not really dealing damage. Uh, I, I guess to see how we itemize the other heroes, yeah. Yeah. Like, to fill the core position. Yeah. And you also definitely need to uh, get some farming tool on the Chen early, because there's nothing in his build that allows him to farm as a plus one. Could you probably just pick up like. Maelstrom, Maelstrom at this point, yeah. And then, yeah. then you probably want to have like Manta, which that's good, so. Why not? Yeah, he's too universal, which is big. Alarmist, CK, yeah, like he has a like, strong passives, but no yeah, he will like he need to run run at people, so yeah, he probably need to get hard. his uh, harpoon finished before he will be uh, really scared. Scary. I think if you get harpoon into like eternal trout, he will be in a pretty good spot. Yeah, I, I think he still have very hard time though do, doing much work since we have That's the true. Yeah, I mean, and so on. He's still gonna have to be stuck with the fact that he has to get near people. That is. True. He also he will really need the BKB. There's good amount of control. There's the miss chance that's always gonna be applied to, to him. Another deny. I'll be honest. I wouldn't want to be the CK in this game. <laughs> no, it's a strong yeah. build, but it's a not good match for the game. Yeah, yeah, it has like three range heroes, which you need to get to somehow. He's very passive. You're you're going to be a little bit of a decay bot, um, from some of the game. I think there's going to be they can be delayed, they can change, but very ice independent. You can't improve until you make mistakes. This is a good opportunity. What is about the armlet? Lane, the Legion is starting to struggle as Chen is gaining levels. I guess that's to be expected. You're just gonna get harassed out of the lane. Your mana is always gonna be burned. And if you try to commit, you get drifted into Dragon Tail from the DK. He didn't... He put two points in Dragon Tail and no points in Spit. It's a little interesting. I guess they didn't. Oh, and... I guess, yes, yeah, it counts as healing. Yeah. Oh. yeah, we can see the barrier on the Dazzle. Okay, oh, that's that's that shit's broken. <laughs> that shit's broken. So he he's got free barrier. He's got counter spell and he's got flash golem to boost himself. And up. he he's has a miss chance and slow building. He's gonna be very hard to fight, Mister. So he's actually yeah. Once he gets his shard, it's even more stronger. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh. the problem is once he pops up the flesh golem and hits you, there's just no turning back. You have to fight, but this is not the build you want to fight. You cannot, you can't <laughs> run from that though. You have to like link out or whatever else you can do. <sighs> Which is on his own team, so. Yeah, they gotta need an answer to that. And what kind of? I mean, you can still get disarm, so I guess. I'm looking, so yeah, I was, I'm thinking. You can get a help, right? But uh, CK has uh, armlet into scepter on XQ, which is. Mm, a... No, I don't. I don't like the scepter second item. Or like. I think search. it's a bit of. It's. It looks like a bit of a greedy build, but I mean, he. he also looking at Chen, maybe he kind of needs to be like, push one and a half, <laughs> a little bit. I mean, uh, I, I, I do like, like armlet, but scaling. yeah, uh, I mean, agony was strong, but. So which of them is, is gonna scale better, right? <laughs> yeah, the problem is if you go greedy on CK, like who's gonna be your yeah, frontliner? Yeah, that. The ex yeah, absolutely. It's you can't really afford to give up your plus three. Uh, this patch, I think it's really difficult though if you don't have like. Yeah, I, I think in general, right any team that has a, like a greedy position three, basically, <laughs> you uh, has, no, a, has a no, no chance. Of it. <laughs> you have first-hand experience, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unless, I mean, unless you can keep uh, like planes deep pushed and have this time to the late late game, but yeah, uh, even then, I do think like the greedy post three is bad. disrupts yeah, the flow of the game. I don't know how many times I've, I've played games and I've had to tell people that. Just buy like I don't know radiance because it's actually a real item you can you can get it now. I'm not gonna be mad and just <laughs> don't, yep. don't get like whatever right click item you're doing. You know? Shit like that. The plan fight looks like it led the legion to me. Oh, oh, oh nice man nope. going to blink <laughs> and actually. Oh? That's they, okay. They're kill. looking to get some revenge here. Leading has doesn't it? really have anything to do. Oh, he's just going in for click. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> and the ni nice change of uh, target from the Chen, burning just enough mana with the level 0 mana break to stop the odds. Wow. CK is arriving. I mean, almost yeah, arriving. Meanwhile, but Dazzle hit level 6, <laughs> popped up the old, and the CK just dies. Yeah, they don't have any way to get out. They have like one hero who can get out at all. And even then, I think you can kind of catch up. Yeah, the Pug now with the face shift illusionary orb, right? It's quite uh, yeah. hard to catch. Exactly. But, damn. You're gonna be slowed so hard that if you don't immediately run after, you, you might actually still die. You might actually see that they are going on Pugna. And Radiant is coming on him. But hey, they know okay. he doesn't have skilled the face shift. And once they drop down the Dream Coil, he cannot even jump out, so easy pickings with this. I'd like to being protected. I want to know if he if he's live friend someone, then shoots the orb and blinks to it, will he stay channeling? I mean, it probably breaks with the distance, right? Yeah, but if he stays in distance, yeah, it could be mm. funny. Anyway, Radiant starts to move together because he. Uh, oh no, it. do a win. It, and it's on a Chen, who is also in the mid right now for some reason. Um, still a lane top with no people in it, so... I mean, it's the usual play, right? My mid laner died, there are four enemies. I go in. <laughs> I mean, okay, so I, I, I can see the, the way of thinking. It'd be like, okay, I, I'm having trouble in top, so I'm going to take the other lane, because it's probably safer, and then the entire enemy team just happens to be there. But, <laughs> I mean, he, he just saw three people gang his mid, so maybe... Either way, yeah. What do you think about these Chen items, though? Prioritizing attack speed heavily with the maxed out trader early on. Mm -hmm. I would much rather see the javelin picked up early. It yes, nicely with the shredder. Yeah, if, especially if you're going putting points in shredder. If you put like, if you're maxing mana break, maybe this is fine. But... I don't like Max and Shredder at all, to be honest. <laughs> no, and, it's... And now that the 25% is there from the start, then you're gaining 15 damage per hit. It's some... It's something, I mean, but... Yeah, it's overall it's 90 damage every time you activate it, if you get all the attacks off, which is not... 
But isn't Mana Break just going to be more fun. anyway? Yeah, okay, yeah, maybe it's, it's worth it for the early game to max out Shredders and focus on all other spells. I mean, if you just take someone's mana away in one Shredder, you already did your job pretty well. Yeah, but it's not leveling really the Mana Break, right? Yeah, yeah I would probably definitely... Well, yeah, I would rather see the Mana Break uh, being... Uh, I mean, I would definitely not... Would... Points early on. I mean, he also has two points of penance, so something... Yeah, I would have to say Mana Break. Okay. Meanwhile, bottom fight in the bottom lane. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's probably gonna go horribly. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, this Pugna is so close to dying! Wow! Damn, it took a while. And you yeah. can see the power of the hunger. The Dazzle was like three times the 10% HP. They're just dancing <laughs> around he, for the duel. He waits for the duel. <laughs> that looked like Big Beer, but it's like five heroes, I know. Might as well. I mean, what is he gonna do with the <laughs> minus? 70% move speed from both the golem Wait, and the vibe. He still has cooldown on duel, just TP out. That's <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, not happening. I mean, it's just in damage. In grand scheme of things, it's probably not much. Yeah, let's watch this, this team fight once again. It was fun. <laughs> just so, looking at the. There's all just. Keaton people. Radiant really hates those bouncy <laughs> runes. I think there's still the level. This is one from the start of the game, or what the fuck is this? So many. <laughs> is there a way for you to see like how much damage even the Dazzle has taken during that fight? Because I'm pretty sure it was his life pull, pull, like uh, three times over. Yeah, I don't think you can see the like damage. Oh, we have some. Okay, Legion just won another duel. Yeah, and another pick off on the Pagna happened in the meantime. Still, not skilled phase shift. Yeah. Not sure how much I like that either. Just one point uh, guarantees your escape with orb, or at least improves your odds. Oh, I found the radiant uh, roots. Ooh. <laughs> That's a lot of gold. Like 1k nope. gold. Mm, it's right actually down. 2k gold difference uh, if the other team got it, so yeah. Another nice. Uh, and considering they were, they're still two K ahead, so they quite needed. Uh, yeah, two K ahead, thirteen three. Yeah. DK three basically yeah. half the for difference in the net for the bounty pickup. Uh, but it looks like they're gonna die now. <sighs> yeah, Rage just has a really easy time just like running at them right now. The wisdom rune is being stolen. Yeah, it looks uh, like it's gonna be a team wipe. Yep. The only reason Chen didn't die because he wasn't there. Yeah. But his TP was ready, so... <laughs> he could have joined and died with his team. Yeah, you can see that like, no one is even close to dying on the Radiant, despite them diving tier 2 14 minutes in. This like, game looks rough. Dazzle already finished on Maelstorm, so his farm is only going to accelerate from this point and is already the top net worth. So, oh, how, do you, th how do you think the Dyer can come back into this? I wonder. First of all, Jen needs to be there, but um, he needs to finish this Maelstrom, and even then... Yeah, it's the usual, right? Like, guys, I finished my farming item. <laughs> of course, in this case, it's also a fighting item. Let's fight. It's not the case of a Battle Fury being finished, right? <laughs> On your core. But it's still probably not ideal. I don't think it qualifies as a huge uh, like power spike. I mean, no, it, it really doesn't end. Meanwhile, I mean... we have Agan and finished on the left track. If you get two of them, yeah, yeah. That just completely counters him at that point, so he can't even use his, his item now. Yep. Two right click cores, I'm, I think you're and honestly, I mean, it, Yeah, if you just get blinked on like this, with the play mail, you should also just die, like, there's really not... No answer. Oof. Three yeah. kills to 20. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we can go back to the penitence pick on the chain, like when you said, so, no survivability, no mobility against this team that wants to run you down with the webs, with the blink. It's gonna be rough. 
Crazy comebacks. Yeah, but usually uh, they come with the tools <laughs> to come back into the game, right? I, I don't see like how they even can come back because their builds simply do not allow it. I would even go as far as to say that the Radiant build, especially at this point in the game, like completely countered the Dire builds. Yeah. I don't know if there's any kind of item that they could change up to make it better. But the only thing I can think of is like CK maybe having not what he's building. <laughs> I, I see the axe being like useful, but then you want to like a long drawn out fight. But is that happening? I'm not so sure. I mean, there is some potential, right? With the Chen burning somebody's mana Sorry, with his I level 0 mana break and then just CK blowing oh, him up with the void. The, the fact that he's still not leveling mana break is really uh, rubbing it the wrong way. Cause, uh, like, what is Penitence Max is gonna do? I mean, it gives the attack range, right? But uh, now we see the Chen dying. Yeah, you also need to cast a spell to get rage, and sometimes maybe you just want to shred Also, it. tap it, fight in the top, dazzle. It's... CK is doing his best to like man fight, but he's just getting kited to hell and back. <laughs> uh, you can see he's <laughs> on 100 slow. move speed. <laughs> Look at the slow. They're the ward, so you can't even spam the cave. I mean, between the Flesh Golem and the Bite, it's already 75% slow. Like... We need to see some drum boots on the Dire real fast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, one way, one thing the CK probably needs most of all right now is simply the BKB. Like, that gets rid both of the Bite, both of the Flesh Golem debuff. I don't think they actually have anything that pierces BKB on the, on the Radiant. Not even the dream call does. Dyer's top tower is being That's something that would allow him to mind fight. As you said, the build on its own is actually quite strong, quite manly. But I uh, he's still lacking it. some tools to really put him the position. So talk about a couple, so... a little bit. Yeah, it probably doesn't feel good, but All something like a yeah, harpoon BKB or blink BKB is probably a way to play this build. Yeah, if he had BK, uh, harpoon, he would have killed Dazzle Zero. Like I'm watching the replay, Dazzle was really close to die. If only there was a harpoon, he would have died. I think it also just suits this build a little bit better than like, the omelet because you you need the mana anywhere to spam the K. Uh, he does now. Oh, oh, that's a Manta. Why does he have Manta? Yeah, because he has his spell, he, face it for the to... talents, uh, for the illusions. That's true, yeah, that's but, true. He does uh, get the strong illusions. I don't like it. But they still share, like, the maps of value, so they just don't get insta-killed by certain spells. Or am I wrong? Yeah, yeah. It's not the best solution to use Manta here. I agree with you. I don't think it solves enough issues. I I guess it's, it's a nice utility, though. Being Has that so. ever been cause for celebration? Radiance bottom tower oh, is that's under that's attack. Oh, uh, not sorry, the Chen. Continuing into the climb here. Yeah. Some control. Would it work? I don't know. Radiance bottom tower is being subjected I mean, to they did have an issue with control and dazzle, so might be. But they also like 25 to stream about 12k. But if they kill someone there, it's going to be a big gold swing for them. It is. I will say they at least don't have the top three net worths on Radiant anymore. <laughs> the CK has caught a bit of a hit, but the Chen is so poor. Ooh. He's now... Yeah, I, I mean, everyone on the team is trying desperately to find the farm since the, the Radiant is now busy with chasing from, uh, into the corner of the map. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there's simply not enough for everyone. Uh, no. This Chen, uh, this Puck, if they knew, they could definitely kill him. Oh, they do know. <laughs> oh, wait. Ah, oh, he's alone, okay. Get back up. Not happening. Lash is feeling a little bit brave now, but what can they really do? 
Oh, this DK gets on him. Well, I think he finishes again him. He can now blink an illusion. I don't know if it will give him something. I mean, it does still work with his faces, so maybe that is a nice one, and he can like. That's actually. Oh, I actually didn't think about that either. That's a, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, I mean. It Strong might levels. help. It's, it's still not worse, like the sword item, but it makes it a bit better. And like DK, I mean, it, is also strong. Yeah, the, the, it's mainly for DK. There's no doubt about that. DK yeah, is is pretty solid. Uh, I, mean, I wouldn't uh, underestimate the effect though. They can still hit quite hard, and yeah, they can. It's not I like... think uh, it's a nice secondary, uh, and it's probably the reason he picked the, the ulti, uh, since there wasn't anything else anyway. <laughs> I mean, it would. Let's be real, we would probably still have gone for a fat test more dragon form if we give the chance. No, I mean, we have a catch on the CK. Probably not that ideal target for the yeah. The rest of the team is also not, not close enough. Huh? They found the Chen kill in the mid in the meantime. He was not able to respond. Oh boy. And that's a uh, team wipe basically. Yeah. Uh, all by himself trying to cut the waves. I don't mean to be alarmist, but Dyer's What do you buy on this pool now to be relevant? Yeah, I feel like if, if there was if his team had more tempo, would have been okay with the build. Let's do damage. We pushes, but you're not gonna like magically change the course of everything. One yeah, item. but I, I don't think you're killing the dazzle with the counter spell flash golem, right? The lash is no. also quite no. chunky. The legion as well. I would maybe like see the e blade on the pugna, so at least you can disable part of the dazzle in the fights. Yeah, but he already has mana. <laughs> Oh! Okay. Oh! Is that a. Nah. No, they're not even getting the Aegis. Oh. Well, good try. <laughs> but the healing. <laughs> not Look only he has full HP, he has a shield to boot. <laughs> yeah. If you're just tuning in, you're okay, GG's cold. Probably not surprising. As I said, a little bit messed up draft on the dire sides. Very questionable builds on the Chen, the pickup of the DK ult on DK, etc. But I liked some of the fights, especially the level 1 fight coming from the CK. Yeah, that was good. Some good moments, um, but otherwise, quite decisive victory.